waking up at 4 a.m. Doing the Sawtooth Ridge. Kev's gonna be leading us up. Let's see how this goes. Scrambling up that. Let's go. That's the final uh, kind of push to get up to beer stat. Some of the beer stat. Chaos up here. What's Evans? Beauty of the day. My turn. It's the hard fucking contest. What are we doing tomorrow, bud? Oh, waking up at 4 a.m. That's all you got for me. Right I'm now filming. I'm setting the mood. I am fucking exhausted. I'm doing too many things lately. Busy man over Living here. Living eight people's lives. Um, one man on a mission. Just trying to get YouTube famous. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ain't that the goal, man? Living the dream. Kids living the dream. There's my pack for tomorrow. Packed up. Looking good. Sweet photo I'm editing. Let's see. Oof. Look at that. Some All nice right, sunsets. I'm just going to bring this. Stick. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Been up for all of 30 seconds. <laughs> you like this you like this thing though? <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Isn't that great? It's quite the quite the I mean, it works. <laughs> Do you have your name on a cup? Nope. Just the letter. <laughs> it looks like it's right. <laughs> Just the letter. <laughs> I might wear my helmet the whole time just so I can have the GoPro on. Yeah, Do I mean. Band aids? Yeah, in the first aid kit. With you? Yeah. Uh oh. Huh. But in my room. But nigga, oh, it's, yeah, nice. exact, it's your boy, baseball. How you doing, bud? Yeah, the lens cap looks nice. Uh, I was like, why is the auto ISO not working, dude? 441. Doing the sawtooth ridge. <laughs> Kev's gonna be leading us up. Putting a lot of faith in this kid today, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Easy day. <laughs> <laughs> On. Smith Optics shooting newest 120. Mm. No, I'm not shooting 120. Mm. Thoughts on the day? I'm pumped. I'm nervous, of course, but I'm excited. Here doing the uh, Evans beer stat back traverse sawtooth ridge. Scrambling up that along the ridge to beer stat, then over and up to Evans.
done. <laughs> what have we, we done? We did it, guys. What did we do? We climbed up a mountain. <laughs> you don't know the beta at all. <laughs> I got it in my head. Get to the top safely. That's all the beta I ever needed. You got to move or you going to just stand there, huh? <laughs> Damn. Let's go. Made it up the traverse from down there. Up through here. Now we're going up to Beerstadt. 14er. And then uh, along that ridge, which looks super gnarly. Right up there, and then you go around. Up to Evans. the final uh, kind of push to get up to beer set. Once you get past that crux part, a couple of climbing moves with some exposure. Really not that bad, looks like. About 300 feet to go. Loads of people on the summit. Not many people on this traverse, which has been nice. Summit of beer set. Kev for once is not the vlogger. <laughs> the vloggy. <laughs> Freaking chaos up here. Put him on the spot with some, like, yeah, exactly. Hey, Kev, you see that rock that's really loose on the edge? You like, stand on it, please. <laughs> Hayden's 18th, 18th summit, first class three route. Smith off. Whoop. So behind me, we got the Stella Tooth Ridge. Leaving this summit as fast as possible with all the people. Doing the famous Sawtooth Ridge. Back up to Evans. We just came down this gully, up along, up to Beerstadt. Now, going across this traverse. It's pretty chill, class three, but somewhat exposed. Then up to Evans. Beauty of a day. What do we think? Let's just get this done. Can you tell me what's ahead? It's just a bunch of scree. It doesn't look fun. But we're gonna do it. Across those ledges, there's a huge drop. It scares me. This is like basically my biggest fear. This is my biggest fear in hiking and climbing because you have all this loose scree. And then just like 800 feet. I fucking hate this shit. But it's something that I'm working on overcoming my fears. Doing shit that fucking scares me. And this is it. Gets my heart going. Hit Jalen, you can feel it in your fucking brain, in your head. I guess that's what it feels like to be alive. If you don't feel comfortable, just find a spot to rest. Crazy man Kev, at it again. One hand on the rock, one hand on the Insta360. We got our priorities, baby. Woo! Look at this crazy creator go. Watch your bag on this, Kevin. What? Watch your bag on this rock sticking out. Okay. Damn, Kev. Freaking killing it, bro. It's the heart fucking pumping. Oh. Now it's my turn. Yay. How do you do this one? Yep. Uh, 
God, you'd think they'd make the trail a bit harder, you know? Jeez. I'd like more exposure, more loose rock, more scree. Guess I shouldn't talk yet. We're not through it. Almost there. Never coming back and doing this again. My adrenaline is peaked out. This is the route we came along this edge. We're gonna move up all up there from the Beerstead all the way around. Oh man, it's crazy exposed. But there's a pretty decent trail, so I feel good. That part right there, those people are. That's the scariest part. It's the hardest part, you just gotta like run right up the scree and then it's super chill. <sighs> Had some good adrenaline rush there. There's Beardstead. We started from up here, down to this meadow, up, up through here, climbed along this huge ridge, down this face, which was just crazy. <sighs> Cut over. Whew. We finished the traverse. You can see what we did all along. And now, uh, I just gave him Bree. We went along the sawtooth and around it. And now we're uh, heading up Evans. Honestly, this is probably the worst part of it. It's like, we don't really have enough water. Don't really have enough food. We're tired, we're sunbaked, we're dehydrated. You know, now we have to climb up another 14 here. And even if it's easy, it's just exhausting. We're trying to finish strong, but uh, we're definitely crawling to the finish line here. I started doing some work with uh, Smith Optics. It's where these sweet babies came in. Um, I gotta be, I'll be honest, uh, the one, the Ray-Bans I've been using are nice because they're polarized, which these are too, but these just like fit on my face so perfectly. They haven't moved, they haven't slipped off. They protect your whole eyes from sun and they're all completely polarized. But the coolest thing is there's kind of a space between the sunglasses and your face. And so if I am using this guy and I'm hiking like this, my glasses don't fog up. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. And I think they look pretty good too. So highly recommended. You can uh, click on the link to uh, check them out yourself. They're sweet. Thanks. There is the summit of Evans. We are 50 yards, 100 yards away. Uh, final push and then a mile downhill back to the car. An hour and a half drive back to Denver. It's a fucking big day. Like. The way my body feels right now is like I just did like a 16 or 18 mile hike. But really, we've only done, so far, we've only done probably five miles. So it definitely takes a lot out of you being at 13,000, above 13,000 feet for like good four plus miles. Climbing and staying focused with your moves. and It's definitely a lot. So I'd say come into this day if you're doing it with two liters of water, a bunch of snacks. Get your approach shoes on. Honestly, it was really nice having the approach shoes on. And uh, sunblock, sun protection. Just be ready for a big day. Cause we started here, down this gully, across, up there, over this ridge, along that ridge to Beerstadt. Then you go down the face of Beerstadt, which is pretty fucking not fun. You go just next to that snow bank, to the left of it. Down the face, cross over along the sawtooth, which isn't too bad. Some exposure. And then back up to Evans and, uh, fucking hell, what a day. It's a really good way to get both peaks. There's not too much loose scree to worry about, I don't think. I think the worst part of the entire day was going down Beerstadt, just because it's everything sliding under your feet. Uh, and it's, there's a trail through it, so it's not like... It's just class two, but it's loose and there's a lot of like exposure. So it's 
pretty uncomfortable, but the Sawtooth Ridgeline is so much fun. And so is the uh, Class 3 Ridgeline up Beerstadt. That's a really cool way to summit, because then you have this whole part of the mountain to yourself, and then, you know, it's a zoo on top. So, yeah, good day. One mile left. Fucking tired and dehydrated. But we got lucky with the weather. I think it's gonna take us about six to seven hours to do this whole thing. It's a pretty good day. Top of Evans. That was the easy part, for sure. And now back to our car, which is right uh, down there. Easy mile. Evans Summit's kind of a shit show. Definitely recommend getting early start in the traverse so you can just have some time for more rest and more breaks. But all in all, good day of getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Try to hitchhike our way down to the car now. Hayden's like, oh yeah, it's right there. But it's like a thousand feet of descent down shitty terrain. It's lying, it's just right there. It's easy. Just gotta think about the seven gallons of water I have in the car. <laughs> We're all out of water. All right, a little update. The last switch back down, we started to get rained on and it was just straight, straight down. It looked miserable. Um, and we gave our thumbs up one more time and we hopped in the back of a truck. I didn't have my camera out, but it was an amazing end to the day. Um, and now we're gonna drink all of Hayden's water. And that's it. See you guys. Hey,